I wanted to show you guys some books that I just got on uh, Amazon not too long ago by David McCauley. He uh, is this older artist and he wrote and drew these books back in the 70s. This one, Castle, was in 1977 and same year as Star Wars. And these books are amazing books for comic artists to use as reference. They're all pen and ink. They're all cross-hatched, nice, thin line work, and they all describe how the structures were built. Like there's great reference material. And it shows how the castles were built, shows the architecture, how the tools they used to build them. It, it's just kind of like amazing, amazing reference. And you can get a lot of ideas for your comics if you have a comic about castles. Definitely check this out. It just it goes into a lot of detail. And the thing is, you can get these books right now. These are hardcover. You can get these for one penny on Amazon. I bought all of these, with the exception of one or two, for one penny. And I just had to pay like $4 shipping. And because they're so old, a lot of libraries are getting rid of them. Um, they're, they're kind of old news, but they're still so good for reference. Like very little you can find nowadays that compete with this. Now there's a new version of Castle and a couple of the other ones that are in color and it's repurposed, but I would not suggest getting the color versions. I bought both of them for one penny and I don't like the color version. They've zoomed into a lot of the art and the compositions have been changed and new art has been added and it's just not, it doesn't feel the same. It's not the same thing and it do, it's not as helpful for art and for reference because the the line work is lost in a lot of the panels and it's not even, in my opinion, it's not even colored as good. It's not worth it. It's, it's a new edition and it's smaller. I just wouldn't do it. The old versions are definitely worth it. So there's Castle. Another beautiful one is Cathedral. This is just an amazing look inside cathedrals and how they were built, showing how they constructed them. Amazing art. Really, really nice pen and ink work. This stuff is as good as it gets for reference, in my opinion. Even if you did internet searches now, like this stuff is is surpasses it because it's it's all collected into a nice package. There's another one on pyramids, so if you're doing an Egyptian comic back in the day, I got little smudges on it. It's, it's pretty beat up, but it shows how the pyramids were built. It shows the blueprints, basically. Just really neat uh, compositions on some of these panels. Just really great inspiration. How they were built. Again, these are all on Amazon. You can find them for really cheap if you just look for the used versions. Here's one on Mill. This one's a little newer. I mean, this is more one of his more recent ones, but it's still really old. Really good. Shows how the machinery worked. I, I, it's just great reference. This is my least favorite one, Unbuilding. It's about skyscrapers. Uh, it's my least favorite because it doesn't really go into a lot of the um, hidden stuff of skyscrapers. It's just a lot of really neat imagery of skyscrapers. So it's good, but you know you don't necessarily need this one for a reference because you can go take pictures of skyscrapers just fine. Uh, this one's great. This one's called City, and it's all about an ancient city and how it was built. Really great for reference if you're doing a uh, comic in this time frame. It really gives you an understanding of how all this stuff was made and the tools they used to make it. And this is one of the most interesting ones. It's called Underground. And it just shows how all this hidden underground stuff looks under cities. And it is really neat. I mean, how would you find this reference somewhere else? Would you, like, climb down into a sewer and take pictures? 
And even if you did, how would you know how it was built? It's just really good. A lot of it's like as if the ground was removed so you could see what's underneath. And it's just neat, neat stuff. Anyway, these are all great books that I recommend you guys see if you can find on Amazon. I'll have links below. Um, they're great for reference for comic artists, for just doing pen and ink, for cross-hatching, for these different time periods. Just really, really good books. So that's that. And don't bother, please don't bother getting the new color versions. See ya!